Hey guys, it's your girl Vanessa here. Welcome back to another video. Are you currently experiencing lots of shedding or perhaps hair fall? If that's you, you definitely want to watch today's video because I'm going to share with you an amazing simple hair growth recipe that you can add to your regimen to prevent excess shedding and also um, minimize thinning and essentially help to promote faster hair growth. So the first ingredient we're going to need for today's recipe will be two bags of black tea. Tea. Now black tea is not only effective when it comes to flushing out toxins from your body but it also makes your hair grow faster because it helps to stimulate hair growth and reduces hair loss and it also removes oiliness from the scalp and treats dandruff. So it's super super amazing. So next we're going to go in guys with a tablespoon of whole cloves. Cloves contain high levels of antioxidants and nutrients that can add to the growth and strength of your hair. Um, they can be used to protect the scalp from dandruff, uh, which is usually the major cause when it comes to like, you know, weak and thin hair. Um, cloves also contain anti-inflammatory properties, which helps to um, promote thicker hair essentially over time. So I added some hot water to this and I allowed it to infuse overnight. And this is what this looks like the next day. You can see the cloves have literally doubled in size. And that's how you know that this is ready. So... So the next step will be to go ahead and strain it guys. So for this I will be using a regular sieve but feel free to use any other thing that you may have available. Now when it comes to black tea you definitely want to consider using it as often as possible especially if you are suffering from excess shedding because black tea not only helps with stimulating high growth it can be very very effective at helping you to, to reduce um, excess shedding just like I said earlier the natural properties of black tea can help to block the hormone DHT which is responsible for hair shedding um, so super super amazing to add to your regimen I'm actually using it a bit more often now because um, I know that postnatal shedding is probably going to be around the corner for me so I'm trying my best to minimize the effects of it um, obviously it's not only using black tea like also eating a healthy balanced diet exercising drinking my water so I'm doing a few little things just to see whether that would help perhaps with reducing the extent of the shedding when the time comes um, so so far I can definitely say that black tea has definitely helped a lot when it comes to sort of you know reducing the amount of hair that i'm seeing every time that, I, that i'm combing my hair so i don't know if i'm going to perhaps escape the uh, postnatal shedding this time around i really don't know but i'm really trying my best to add it to my regimen a little bit more often just to see whether that would make a huge difference to the amount of hair that falls so Anyways, we now have made our spray. I pop that in that spray bottle so that it's easier for me to use. And essentially the way that I would use it will be, um, or the way that I normally use it, is just um, like I'm showing you guys in today's video. So I always work on my hair in sections just because it's much easier to manage it that way. And I suggest that you do the same as well because, you know, it minimizes tangos and breakage and all of that stuff. So section super super important so essentially i'm just doing a bit of finger detangling because my hair was in um an ultra style um so i'm just doing a bit of finger detangling there and then i'm gonna go ahead with the black tea and just spray it all over my scalp and i'm also going to spray it throughout the length of my hair now you can use this black tea as a hair rinse on its own so essentially you can just you know um spray it all over your hair leave it for a few minutes and then go ahead and rinse your hair with just warm water without necessarily having to shampoo and if you repeat it you know um, regularly perhaps once or twice every week i'm pretty sure that you will notice a huge difference but what i'm doing I'm not going to rinse this off my hair guys, now, just like I said I want to use it a bit more often just to see whether it will help with the postnatal shedding and I'll let you guys know how I get on with that. So for that reason I'm not going to rinse this off my hair, I will be using it as a moisturiser, 
um, essentially so I'm just playing it to my hair just like I said and then I'm using a butter I've made a video about this I'm going to share with you in the, in a few days um, coming so definitely stay tuned for that so I'm using this butter just to seal the moisture in my hair and then I'm gonna go ahead use a white tooth comb and properly properly detangle my hair life goes up and it goes down I know my mom taught me that I figured why we fool around So little And we keep track of time Being so serious Idiots Thinking it will matter Keep me company downtown Before the clock runs out Sun is shining but the rain is welcome too Friends are nearby don't need another view Time is not on my mind but then it's you Oh Things must pass. Now, after I'm done combing it, guys, I'm just gonna go ahead and twist this section of hair and then move on to the next section and repeat until the rest of my hair is completely done. Now, unfortunately, I'm not gonna show you how I do my entire hair in today's video because you can imagine the video will be extremely long. Um, but I'm just showing you guys what I normally do. So I would suggest that if you are to use this dough that you test it on your hair first maybe a little section of your hair just to see how your hair actually reacts to it there are lots of people that I've shared in the past that you know cloves or black tea have broken their hair off because it can be a little bit strong I must admit the combination of these two cloves and black tea can be quite strong for the hair which could be a good thing in some cases but in others it can actually cause more breakage than good so i'll say test it out first if your hair agrees with it you can use it perhaps twice or three times a week depending on the need for it um so you don't have to necessarily follow this procedure just like i'm doing here you can literally just play on your hair and go so if your hair is in twists conros braids or whatever state is in as long as you can reach your scalp definitely go ahead and just play all over your scalp and the rest of your hair and just go you don't necessarily have to seal the moisture again if it's not really necessary um so it's something that is really really simple to make but it's super super effective when it comes to um, reducing you know excess shedding or just hair thinning in general or or hair loss so super super amazing and i hope that you guys will go ahead and try this out just like i said i will update you guys on the post shedding when that happens if it does happen <laughs> you know i'm really i'm really hoping and praying that this time round i'm probably not going to experience as much shedding as i did last time because i don't think last time i took any kind of precaution really um so i really want to do something a little bit different this time just to see if it makes a difference but anyways i'll keep you guys posted so these are the, the sections of my hair that are done i'm just just gonna go ahead and do the rest of my hair off camera um so that brings me to the end of the video essentially i hope you guys have enjoyed watching and if you did don't forget to give me a thumbs up guys also let me know in the comment section down below if you have ever tried black tea for hair loss and how that went for you i would love to hear your opinion and i'll see you in my next video bye